I gotta be honest, I think I'm pretty dialed on this. I saw uh, Waller doing it, and so I did it in the locker room, like just in my head, and I was with the boys and I said now, and they said I was dead on. I'm Ryan Reeves, and you're watching The Blue Room. Very cool, just because of how competitive uh, our household was when we were younger. It was just a constant war, constant battles, constant competition. We used to have a ceiling that you could almost touch when we were younger. It was always who can touch it first. And always playing football in the backyard. We'd be making up games. We still to this day play this game. It's, it's kind of like football in the backyard. You only, can only play with one hand and it's kind of like tennis, but um, no, it's cool. It's cool to see, especially for him, you know, he went through a rough patch in his life where he was kind of running with the wrong crowd and to turn his life around, got a scholarship to play basketball, couldn't find work, and then all of a sudden just jumps into the CFL, you know, shows what kind of athlete he is. It's definitely a dream for both of us. So my dad is Willard Reeves, uh, CFL legend, running back for the Bombers for five years, played a little bit in the NFL, might still hold a couple records, 1984 MVP. Grey Cup champion. The one thing I learned about uh, being a pro athlete for my dad was how to carry myself. You know, he was very active in the community, uh, kind of a legend around Winnipeg, so a lot of people always come up and talk to him and stop him and tell him how much, you know, they, they loved watching him play. And uh, he always took time to interact with, uh, with people and, and uh, kids, so I really carried that with me. Uh, as far as how to play hockey, zero. He's Bambi on ice. All right, tattoo tour. This is uh, for my son, big Disney guy. So this is from Alice in Wonderland, the rabbit. I used to call my son Monkey. This is for my daughter who loves unicorns, obsessed with unicorns. This is the Grim Reaver, my nickname I've been given. On this arm, uh, my brother, when he turned his life around, got a basketball scholarship. This is our favorite movie, Nightmare Before Christmas. So I got this with his basketball jersey. He has Jack with my hockey jersey. I got my dad's number, 38 right here. I got my mom, uh, her middle name, I call her Mama Joy, and her favorite flowers. I got the lion, I got a skull. That's a tour. Are you and your brother like big Tim Burton fans? We are, you know, funny story about that. So Frank and Weenie came out, and that is by Tim Burton. And we didn't know that Frank and Weenie was more of a kid's movie. So we go into the, we go into the movie theater, and it is me, my brother, and nothing but kids with their parents. Not a single other adult in there, but kids with their parents. But it was a still good movie. Uh, I got one with Davey. It's, uh, it's a high five and then a, a chest bump. Me and Willie just do a very standard dap. Um, you and Mitch have a pretty distinct Oh, you're right. Yeah, sorry. You're right. Uh, me and Mitchie got the, the my dog low and then the little jump. Now, I guess that was the first one I had here, so that, was, that one's good. Thank you for that. Appreciate that. So we've got Matthew Nyes on set. Um, mm -hmm. We recently learned that he's picked up the guitar. Yeah, he's yeah. Started to play guitar. Is there any chatter amongst like the guys that are <laughs> starting some sort of band? Get a little band going. I think Revo plays the drums, so yeah, we could get a little band. I, I don't know if I found a singer. Tim Lilligren, has, he likes to rap a little bit, so you can get on him about that. I I used to play the drums and I was okay at it. I used to take lessons, so in my school you had to take band for a while. And I had just got braces and they gave me the clarinet and it hurt my braces. So I said, can I, get, can I do something else? Can I take the drums? So I started taking lessons. My mom bought me a drum kit. Uh, I'm sure she regrets that every day that I played it, but um, yeah, I'm not bad. I can I can keep a beat, I guess. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Then we're gonna get you out of here on this. Okay. I gotta be honest. I think I'm pretty dialed on this. I saw uh, Waller doing it, and so I did it in the locker room, like just in my head. And I was with the boys, and I said now, and they said I was dead on. You knew you were coming on, so you had to do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Damn, I was way closer yesterday. All right, well, I'll, I'll take that one, that's all right. Thank you, Ryan. All right, thanks, guys. And that's it.